Thank you. Hacking scandals are the stuff of movies, government and celebrity scandal. But don't be fooled. As we put more of our lives and our faith on, in the Internet and technology, we're increasingly at risk for having our personal information pilfered. Robert Siciliano is an identity theft expert with McAfee who says there are some surprising places where you're vulnerable and you likely won't even know it. Good morning. Good morning to you. Some of these places, these five places, really surprised me. Things that I had never even heard of before. The first one is medical implants. How is it possible that thieves are able to, um, to engage in identity theft with medical implants? Well, not so much, med not so much identity theft, but um, anything that is, uh, has a wireless connection uh, is hackable. Uh, whether hacked um, to it or from it, uh, wireless devices inherently are controlled by something externally uh, and they can be hacked or manipulated. Okay, so in the movie of the week, I would have some sort of organ implanted on me that had like a, a little chip in it and my arch nemesis would turn off, turn off that organ and I would die. Yes, uh, uh, so in that situation, you want to wrap yourself in tinfoil. Okay. No, but seriously, is that, is that what, what the concern is with a medical implant, that somebody could, you know, mess around with your inter internal system? Medical implants, uh, such as uh, heart monitors, uh, pacemakers, uh, the, uh, you know, hackers, um, good hackers, like security professionals, have reverse engineered these processes. They've looked at how they could be manipulated, and if, say, a bad guy was to get a hold of uh, certain tools that, say, a doctor might have access to, then yes, in fact, um, alterations can be made in that device wirelessly that uh, could uh, cause, uh, you know, fatal injury. Is that, uh, how possible is that, though? Well, it's possible. It certainly is possible. Uh, security professionals have uh, brought attention to it over the past year or two. Uh, at the recent Black Hat conference and others, they've uh, brought focus on it. Uh, and when that occurs, the manufacturers of these different technologies, they, they take this process that the, that the good guy, the, the, the penetration tester, the good guy hacker had used, and they do what, they, what is necessary to patch whatever flaw might have been detected. Uh, a couple more of these, uh, and I want to get through them. Uh, are, are, this next one happened to me, baby monitors. I, I've been on the phone before, uh, like on a cordless phone, and then I've heard the conversation of my neighbors through what I believe is a baby monitor. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about, just being able to listen in on people's conversations? So the baby monitors, uh, there are older ones that you can listen in on the call or the conversation. And also the video monitors, you can see what's going on. Mm. Now, a lot of the new video monitors out today, they have um, you know, frequency adjustments, they have uh, uh, some type of protection involved that prevents that, but some of the older monitors are still vulnerable. You want to check the package uh, to, to make sure that um, uh, others can't see in or listen in on your baby. How can, uh, more and more we're driving less of vehicles and more of computers, how can uh, automobiles be hacked into? Well, the OnStar system allows for remote unlocking of the vehicle and for remote starting of the vehicle. Mm. And uh, hackers have, uh, you know, reverse engineered that process and found a way to get in to unlock the door with the text message even to start the vehicle. I'm glad you said uh, unlock the door because you don't also do that with a garage door or opener if you have one with the same frequency uh, as your neighbor. Uh, but the last one I really want to get to, you say even your mind can be hacked. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, you know, again, uh, hackers, uh, medical professionals, uh, the certain mind tricks. Uh, again, this isn't something that, you know, the general public should be concerned about down the road, maybe 10, 15 years from now. There may be that technology, something available. Again, you know, just put your tin hat on and don't worry about it. I always do that when I'm around Gene the Magnificent. <laughs> Robert, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Some Thank places you. that I hadn't even thought of before, and uh, now we will. Thanks.